Hey guys, I want to go ahead and uh, do an example here, finding the area of a non-right triangle. Now, you guys know that the area of a right triangle is one half the base times the perpendicular height. <coughs> Unfortunately, this guy is not a right triangle. Okay, so the way we do that, we have to use uh, the sine. So, the formula, if you will, is one half AB times sine of theta, the angle theta. So, what you want to do is you want to pick two sides. Okay, and you, you're going to use the sine of the angle that's between. Okay, now in this particular case, they only give me these two sides. I don't know this angle, but they do give me the opposite side of this angle here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the law of sines to try to figure out this angle here. Okay, well, I have this side here, I can figure out this angle here. I'll call that x. Okay, using the law of sines. So the law of sines says we have sine of x degrees over 13 is equal to the sine of the other angle over 18. From here I can go ahead and cross multiply. I'm going to get sine of x is equal to 13 sine of 108 divided by 18. Just I just did that. Okay, I didn't cross multiply the 18 because I want to isolate that, this sine of x here. So, 13 sine of 108, okay, divided by 18, that's going to give me 0 0.6868, okay, that's a sine of x. Now, how do you get rid of the sine? Well, you do the sine inverse. So, you're going to have to use your calculator sine inverse of 0 0.6868 okay sine inverse 0.6868 and that should give you approximately 43.37 degrees okay so that's this angle right here that's your x here okay 43.37 degrees. Well, now now that I have these two angles, I can go ahead and figure out this third one. Okay, because you know that a triangle adds up to 180. So 108 plus 43.37, that's going to give me 151. Okay, minus or subtract that from 180, and that should give you 28. 0.63 degrees. So this guy right here is 28.63 degrees. Now I can go ahead and use my uh, equation here to find the area. So the area is going to equal to one half. Take any of these two sides, 13 times 18 times the sine of that angle that's between. So that's sine of 28.63 degrees. Okay. Half of 18 is 9. 13 times 9 is 117. 117 sine of 2863. Okay. And let me get my calculator. And that should give you an area of 56.06 square units.